Hey guys, name's Fen, and welcome back to Let's Play a Mission Nobody Cares About because King's Story is more interesting. Today, I'm going on the fourth file that I have saved. And, in addition, not preloading so that I'm waiting forever for it to load. And, except not. Forever has gotten a lot shorter these days, it just isn't like it used to be. And I still don't know where a switch probably is because it definitely looks like there should be one, if you ask me. But, however, I really just don't know, so I might be forced to go down and just look in other places for other things, because this is kind of, uh, silly. Uh, I guess, I mean, it's, it's Lady, Lady R's first mission, so perhaps it's slightly less, like, experienced, learned than it could be, but nevertheless, it's still pretty good, and I just keep looking for a switch that I know must be here. It's just cheesing me off, but oh well. Oh well, I guess I have checked out both of those rooms and I'm totally going the wrong way to go downstairs except not when well, I could go down here and I can't seem to pick like there seems to be another room beside here but I don't really know what's the deal with it so instead I'm just going down some stairs and uh, yeah, possibly I hear some whistling. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out the grounds and in order to check out the grounds I'm going to go through the basement because that's just what I'm going to do except unless... Sitting room, dining room, library... Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just see if there's any other rooms that I can go and... Oh, hey, well... Oh, hey, oh, hey, there's some really nice... Oh, yeah, she updated this at some point with enhancement pack stuff. I hope I'm not making so much noise, but there's a burk head. It's not a burk, it's like a, a beast of burden of, of something or other. <laughs> Yet more portraits with women lounging in a nude manner because you see nudity is is spiritual and sensual and all these other non lowbrow words and therefore women are like when they go around naked they are in fact just being ultra professional and are not feeling like the effects of being naked whatsoever they're just like I like being nude you can feel the nature vines going around your body and the wind in your hair and it's not at all because I'm like you know slightly well anyways never mind uh right, let's see uh, oh 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 more loot uh, <laughs> I should not be saying these things because I'm really not very knowledgeable about art and and the place of the nude in the art of my bed so therefore, I am ending up sounding a little silly, but uh, it seems there actually is a door over this way. I don't really know what it is, but looks like this might lead outside. I don't know why I would say that. No, like not at all. It leads into the kitchen. Oh yeah, of course, this is that one door that I was going into. However, I'm going to turn off the light for no reason because darkness is good. You know, the acronym is DIG. And you can dig, 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 dig it out. Uh, and now that I'm just saying complete nonsense and degenerating here, I can go check out and see if there might be any other doors on this particular level. Like, what on earth is this? Well, I guess I probably tried this already and... Oh, no, I guess I didn't. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Yeah, well, anyways, I don't know what this is, but it seems to be an office of some kind and I might be getting somewhere hoping there's a key, but I guess it's just a scroll. There's Medieval Kingdom there, and there's like a guy who looks like some kind of weirdo, and well, it's a note. It's a scroll, yet another scroll called a scroll, but this one has a different style, so it's like all scrolled up. Lieutenant Wilson, I have some very important things to tell you. Please meet me in the garden at midnight. Or should I say, please meet me in the garden at midnight. Wink! Maybe not. I really have no idea if that's meant as, like, some kind of euphemism or if it really is important. But look at there's some other stuff in here. Lieutenant Wilson! How are the investigations coming along? I can't even remember. I'm glad you'll be able to guide you. I'm glad you'll be able to guide you. How are the investigations coming along? More than a week has passed, and although I promised Lord Bafford to take care of the situation, I have no intention of keeping half my men out there much longer. It is only two servants, after all. I want you to be prepared to return at once if nothing new arises within a week. Sheriff Truart, whoosh your hair back. For some reason, in a dashing sort of fashion. Dashing fashion. Well, another letter. 
Lieutenant Wilson, what the hell are you doing over there? Do you play cards all day long, or are you flirting with some little skivvy? How is it possible that Lady Isabella just vanished under your nose like that? Lord Carlyle and Lord Bafford are both furious. My career is at stake here. I'm warning you, Wilson, if you can't find Isabella alive, I swear I will make you pay. You will go back to the slums from where you came. You'll end up polishing the boots of your own men. Now hang on. Lieutenant Wilson. Hmm. Why is he, like, all not caring in that other letter, then? Oh, I don't know. This is locked for some reason. Like, uh, I got my picks, and it's not even a very... Oh, oh my god. It's a key. It is a key. It is the star... <gasps> I know and I see, buddy. I understand what growing up is like. Is that a re a re voice of of that feminine, that female voice that says terrible secrets? Well, I don't know, but Journal of Lieutenant C. Wilson. <coughs> <clears throat> We've been here at Bafford's estate for three days now, but unfortunately there's no trace of the girls yet. I made the acquaintance of Lord and Lady Bafford. To tell the truth, I saw Lord Cedric only once for about five minutes. He rarely comes out of his room. Lady Isabella is a very graceful and kind woman, and received us with great cordiality. I also met Lady Isabella's sister, Lady Lucrethia, and... I have no words to describe her. She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. She used to come down in the garden every day for reading, so I assigned myself to the garden patrol just to see her. She talked to me. This morning I braced myself and I made a comment about the book she was reading, so we started to talk of this and that. I discovered that she's not only a beautiful woman, but she's also very clever and likable and that's enough. I better stop thinking of her. Oh my god, she's my kind of girl. Clever and beautiful. Mm. Uh, <laughs> As for the rest, things aren't going so well. We searched all over the manor without finding any sign of the girls. The men are discouraged. Moreover, they are dissatisfied because of the bad condition of the barracks. I must say that I've been lucky. They gave me the room of the administrator who died recently. My god, am I going mad? Yesterday I was going to bed when a ghost appeared in a corner of the room. He was a young man with a sad look on his face. He kept speaking about horrible secrets that nobody knows. Since this was his room, I believe that the Phantom was Lenny, the administrator. What secrets is he talking about? Is he trying to tell me something? Damn rain! I had gotten in the habit of meeting Lady Lucrethia in the garden every day to have a chat but haven't seen her for three days because of this pouring rain. Damn! Damn! The order to withdraw could arrive at any moment, and I wouldn't see her anymore. At last the rain stopped. I'd looked forward to the moment I'd be able to meet Lady Lucrethia again, but when I arrived in the garden she barely greeted me and kept on reading her book. What a fool I was. What did I expect? It's clear that she regrets having treated me too familiarly. I just have to get her out of my mind, that's all. I would have liked to be able to stay away from her, but here I am like a perfect idiot, waiting for a word from her, being happy by just looking at her. Sometimes whilst she's sitting on a bench reading intently, I get so close to her back that I can smell her delicate perfume. Oh my, if she were a maid, I would have no hesitation. I would approach her and, at worst, I would get a big slap, but being what she is, I'm without hope. Today, Lady Lucrethia fell down the stairs in the garden and hurt herself. So I had to take her in my arms and carry her up to her room. I was bathed in sweat, and my heart was beating wildly. And it wasn't only from the strain of carrying her. I'm crazy about her. I'd go through fire and water to conquer her, but there's nothing I can do. The day after tomorrow we'll have to leave, and I'll never see her again. Lady Isabella disappeared. This morning Lady Lucrethia ran into my room and told me she wasn't able to find her sister. I went up to Lady Isabella's room. The door wasn't locked and the key was in the keyhole. I saw that the bed had not been slept in. For an instant I thought that the explanation could be very simple. Maybe Lady, Is Lady Isabella had passed the night with her husband. But when I asked Lord Cedric he told me that he hadn't seen his wife since yesterday morning. The room seemed very tidy. Nothing was out of place. In the bathroom the bathtub was full of water, but the floor was absolutely dry, as if Lady Isabella had changed her mind and decided not to bathe. I locked the door. I will have a further look tomorrow. I passed the rest of the day questioning everyone, from the guards to the cook, but no one was able to tell me anything significant. 
two days have passed. There is no trace of Lady Isabella. Sheriff Truard is enraged and sent me a letter full of threats. But what the hell would I have had to, to do to prevent this from happening? We searched the entire manor without finding anything. There are guards everywhere patrolling night and day, and they never noticed anything suspicious. I don't think that a stranger got into the house to kidnap or kill the maids first, and then Lady Isabella too. Why is it that nobody heard or saw anything? I think that it concerns someone that both the girls and Lady Isabella trusted. But who can it be? If we exclude the old cook, Nelly, and obviously Lady Lucrithia, who remains? One of the three guards who were already here on our arrival? The old Barker? Lord Sandrick? No, it's impossible. There's something sinister in this house, something evil. If only my ghost friend could make himself understood more clearly. But he kept on repeating the same phrase, horrible secrets, horrible secrets. Wilfred deserted. Barney, his best friend, told me that the last night while Wilfred was patrolling the cemetery, a ghost had appeared from nowhere, frightening him to death. Or near death. So today, while he was on guard at the front gate, Wilfred left on the sly. Well, we don't need cowards like him, and I sure wouldn't miss him except for the fact that he took the key to the front gate away with him. Huh. Bastard. I asked Barker for the spare key, but it seems that Lenny was carrying it the day he died. We discovered a hole which leads to the outside from the sewers. So I sent a man for a blacksmith, but he was out of town and couldn't be here for three days. Damn. I will have to be sure to ration the provisions until we have a new key. With the gate locked, we cannot get new supplies into the estate. I haven't seen Lady Lucrithia for two days. A friend of her has arrived from town and she is always accompanied by him. I just can't keep myself from being jealous, but on the other hand, I just have to face facts. It's just a noble like him that she is destined to marry one day. She would never even consider someone like me, especially in this wretched situation. She sent me a message in the afternoon. She wants to meet me tonight. I just can't guess what she has to tell me, but whatever it can be, I can't wait to meet her. So it was lovey-dovey. <gasps> Squee! <laughs> okay, so... We want this love story to have a happy ending, don't we? Hell yes! Don't kill Lieutenant Wilson. Oh, hell no. Lady Rowena, you are the greatest. You are the greatest. Uh, putting these amazing love stories in, into... Does that thing move aside or something? I don't know. Into your missions? And, and, and making it so that like we can see, like, oh, a guy thinks that the girl doesn't care about him, but in fact she feels the same way. It's so sweet. I could just explode. Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I've got a white room key. And possibly there's a secret there, but I don't really know what it is. And possibly I got hurt, but that's okay. What is this now? Didn't I? Oh, th hmm. this is that lady what didn't do anything to me, so I'm not disturbing her. And the white room is upstairs, so actually I do want to go up these stairs here. It seems that nobody even cares about my presence. I was happy to read that book, you know? It's one of my favorite long books. In, in a fan mission, and the white room was probably over this side. Yes, definitely so. Or, 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 hang on. The white room is Lady... Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm upstairs. Where is that place that I was thinking about here? It's on this side, isn't it? Oh, of course. I believe the white room... is... Besi okay, it's beside Rowena's room. Okay, we'll get to Rowena's room later. There's some frolicking nudes, and uh, oh, I love this room. Very, very like white. Oh yeah, this is this is the loot that you can't take, the candlestick, but you can take that one. Uh, it even says in the read me that her beta testers told her she shouldn't do that, but she wanted to anyway. So damn it, she did. Very, very, very nice, all heavenly. This room. And what's down here? I kind of forgot. Well, there's a, a nude in somebody's not dead. Oh, it's not holy water. It's just like some kind of bath bomb. I always thought that was sounded, that sounded hilarious. It sounds like bomb, like an exploding bomb. And it'll explode the water like... Just like that fountain in Army of Darkness or whatever it was, you know, fountain of blood. Now, I happen to know that there's another extremely long book here, so I think I'll save that for next time. And uh, take a nice nap for 24 hours, and I'll see you guys when I see you, Gordon.